Okay, how are you doing people? This is video number two of the series. I guess you could say the series. I mean, it's just forever from now on. So, it took a while for me to get enough time to shoot another video. So, I'm just going to say it and not worry about editing too much. I'm just going to say it piece by piece. In this video, I sort of want to explain why I waited a year before I said anything. Because, you know, there's a lot of reasons, but... I'm going to do them one by one. That way I don't ramble too much because I have so much to say about everything that I could go on forever. I literally could just talk for the rest of my life about my experience, but nobody wants to hear that yet. So anyway, I'll start with number one. The first reason is obviously because it was a very spiritual experience and I feel, I know, deep inside myself, I know that I've experienced oneness i know what god is is ex the the true definition of what that would be or i know what happens to us when we die i know where we go i know what we do and, and i know that's bold for someone to say because when it first happened you know i i was completely sober and that's what blew my mind is that it was the most intense thing that i've ever experienced and i've done drugs throughout my life but i haven't for a, a long time and like being sober and having that happen was such a wake up, you know, when they say you are, you wake up or you're awakened or aware, or enlightened, and like all those words don't really mean anything if you just say it, you know, like I'm a, I could say that I'm a realized being, I'm an, I'm an ancient master, you know, like my past lives, I've experienced them all. I know what they are. I know actually I can experience anything, but that's getting too deep into stuff and I don't want to sound crazy or weird. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I wasn't crazy and I know that I'm not. I mean, I only do the right things and I, and when I say the right things, I mean, I eat healthy. I treat my body right. I act and am good to people and myself. I think pure thoughts. When I have a bad thought, I let it go out of my mind and I've learned how to do that and I can teach others how to do it. And another reason that I waited so long is because I know it's very bold to say, I can answer any question. I can, any question I can give the definite right answer to. Not like something that, you know, some science equation or some math equation or some crazy problem or what's this person's name or what's that location. Those things aren't really important at all anything is a distraction like any subject is a distraction like it's not your purpose to work a job and make money money is just an idea and we just got so strung up in that we're doing something completely opposite of what we should be doing with our lives and people would say it's just that's the way it is and that's how it's got to be and that's another reason i waited because i can i've seen what could happen to me if i start saying stuff like i've experienced oneness with what I call God, I mean, other people say universe or source or create a collective consciousness or whatever it is now. And, you know, all these people that talk about it are great. I mean, I don't think anything bad about like Deepak Chopra or any of those the, the spiritual t teachers like Sadhguru and, and what's his name? Uh, Nishinanda. I, mean, I can't think of his first thing, but it, that doesn't matter. Those are all one little branch of a belief system. And I'm not going to get too deep into that stuff because that's another reason I didn't do a video for a year because I tangent so much onto the facts. Well, what I consider to be the facts. I mean, they are. I don't know how, how to say them. I mean, I'm just going to speak my truth. So, and basically, another reason I waited was because I don't want my family to be made fun of. Over this year, my own kids don't come around anymore because it's pretty odd. And I'm, I'm a grown adult and I do believe everything that I'm saying. I believe that I'm here to save the world. I mean, in order for somebody to change the world, someone like Einstein or somebody like one of the great explorers that we have or the inventors that we have, don't you think those people had to believe in themselves that they could change the world? I believe that in myself. All I wish is that I could find some other people who did too. But I'm not pushing that on anybody. That's no one's job to do. No one has to do that. Everyone could just mush out and be robots and become AI for all that, you know, for all that matters. It, it, it doesn't really matter because we go on. We don't have to come back to this. Well, I'm getting off track again. So another reason, I mean, another reason is because I've seen how it can go. Like I've already mentioned that a little bit, but to the, in the depths of 
I don't want to be labeled as a bad person. And any recognition that I would get if it was for as a great person, I don't really care if Dan Alexander has that recognition. And if it was somebody who was looked at as a joke, I don't want Dan Alexander and his family's name to be tarnished, but I don't care if it does because this is worth people knowing. My mission in life isn't to prove myself to anybody or to make anybody believe me. In fact, proof is actually a sin. If you really, really understand, I'll get into that some other day. If anybody wants to ask me any questions, ask me any questions and I will give you an answer and you'll be surprised. I mean, maybe not. So most of it's pretty common sense. Most, almost everything in life is common sense in the, in the world. Like it's all super common sense, but people are just like, uh, that's the way it is. Oh. But I don't mean to make fun of anybody because I love people. I just see the mistakes we're all making. I've made many of them. So I've made them all. So now it's, it's time to make the mistakes right for, uh, for myself, help as many people as I possibly can, live to be as healthy as I can and as strong as I can, uh, expand my mind and be creative with the person I am and share and express love to the world. That's all I should do. That's all anyone should do. And that's what I'm going to do.